you had mentioned at the beginning of your remarks that this was a campaign promise of yours. Have military commanders asked for this system specifically? Because Nora had said previously that the current system was adequate. So what does this get the United States? Well, is, is it is that, there really is no current system. We have uh, certain areas of missiles and certain missile defense, but there's no system. Uh, we just have some very capable weapons that uh, hopefully we never have to use, but we have some very capable weapons. No, this is a different league. So you hear the president say at the very end there, this is a different league. What he's talking about is that the United States has an existing system, about 60 ground-based interceptors based in California and in Alaska that are designed specifically to counteract and intercept any North Korean ICBMs. But when he says this is a different league, he's talking about Russia and China. Both of those countries are greatly expanding, significantly expanding their capabilities in terms of the number of ICBMs that they're building. And most importantly, when it comes to hypersonic technologies, um, this is uh, th these are missiles that can maneuver. And if they carry a uh, nuclear weapon, a nuclear warhead, uh, that means they might be able to evade any existing systems, including that more limited system that's designed against North Korea. So that's what the president is talking about when he says it's in a different league, but he's laid out a very, very ambitious timetable, Kata, uh, to try to get uh, what he says, make it operational within three years. Um, maybe what he means is getting initial operating capability within three years, but there's a difference. We can talk about that here at the Pentagon. Oh, right. What does initial mean? I know they're concerned about these missiles being able to navigate around the radar that we currently have.